still on depression. Good evening, viewers. Welcome to Hell Vibes. My name is Mosumola and I am your host. A very big thank you to everybody. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for what you have done. And thank you for what you're going to do. Thank you for helping your brother. Thank you for helping your sister. We have been talking about depression. Depression is just like malaria. It's highly endemic. And Dr. Akiola has done good justice to it. Thank you for sharing my video to everybody. We all need to know everything so much about depression. We need to help ourselves. On today's edition, we're still going to talk about depression. And as usual for the past two episodes, Dr. Akiola has been my guest. So on today's episode two, ladies and gentlemen, help me appreciate Dr. Akiola. Thank you very much. I'm so glad to be here. Good day, everybody. I'm excited, Dr. Akiola. <laughs> you don't know how fulfilled and how joyful I am today. Yeah. Thank you so very much. A pleasure. Anytime. There's a topic, there's something that has been coming up in my mind for a while and I actually went through it. During that time, and um, I, I, I told you I went through depression and this particular thought and I know there's somebody out there that can identify with it. There was a particular time, most times when I'm driving on Todd Mainland Bridge, I would just hear a voice and that voice would tell me, why not park and jump into the ocean? And I would just look at myself and I would say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I bind that thought in Jesus' name and I know that there's so many people that are always binding these thoughts. And the times I'm in the kitchen working, and I hear the same voice tells me, take that knife and stab yourself. We're being real here because somebody needs to be helped. Somebody will tell me, Musa, why are you talking about this? It is real. Depression is everywhere. It is only those that know that they're going through depression, that know that they're going through depression and that wants to be helped, that will be helped. Don't wait until your own case ends up in Dr. Akiola, Dr. Akiola, I noticed that when I speak out mm -hmm. and um, with positive affirmation, mm -hmm. I say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, have a sound mind. I speak to that negative thought. I bind you in Jesus' name. I, I, I have the life of God on the inside of me. Then I hear this negative thought gradually disappears. What is the place of this positive affirmation when those negative thoughts when you come to mind? Well, um, I, I think I want to start with, you know, like we say, your personality, your genetic makeup and all that always have an input in all these um, emotional, psychological illnesses. Okay, so it depends on how strong you are emotionally. Oh, you mean I was sick? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, you were, but um, so I, somehow... Somebody should have ended up in... Not, necess not, not necessarily, okay. but you should. But I'm no more sick, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Because there are no more. That's what we say hearing voices. Okay. 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 So, you okay. know, sometimes they won't want to say I'm hearing voices. They'll say it's a thought that comes. Okay. But you see, where I'm going is, you know, I told you that um, depression can be complicated with psychosis. Okay. So, that's these thoughts. And I talked about, you know, when feelings, ideas of, hopelessness, hopelessness, worthlessness comes in and you know the thoughts will now come in. So if you think there's no hope that this situation can get better, so why don't you kill yourself? Yeah. So that is the point. So that's the point now. It's now going from being just plain depression to depression and suicidal ideations. Mm. So if that person is not helped, then that's when and they sit in it to continue to progress. Wow. That's when they make attempt to kill themselves. Mm. So that's why I said, you know, in all of this, 
people's makeup, genetic makeup, their personality also comes in. So okay. you were strong-willed, then you also had a belief system that was strong. Mm. So many people do not have that, you know, belief system. We were able to cope because, you know, like I said, all these psychological illnesses, it depends on your personality, who you are, and your belief system. So because you have a strong belief system, and you were able to utilize it at that point in time and you kept on saying positive affirmation which is good like i was saying that uh, because our thoughts create our world so it's what you think inside of you that comes out so as you were able to go against the thought that was coming that kill yourself and you were saying it out so it was losing the, the hold upon you so even the people can even if people can do positive affirmation before they get so depressed because you failed an exam does not mean you're a failure or because your husband left you or your wife left that means you're not a good mother or you're not a good wife you know so you do not generalize to all the areas of your life that is just one part of your life so uh but it is an emergency because people that are not strong will they, they, will just, they will just question. get out of the car or if they feel overwhelmed they think about it anyway there's nobody to help me i have sought help nobody's ready to give me the money or whatever my husband has left he's not coming back or the child died so what what am i living for so they just get out of the car and they jump into the ocean yes yeah, so that's why it is an emergency for us if we ever get to hear anybody saying the want to the thought comes they want to kill themselves because if it's not addressed sooner or later they're going to attempt it wow. and you don't know who is going to succeed so wow. we'll rather that people do not attempt you know i read about a 16 year old maybe two weeks ago and i mean she had everything going for her she was an actress star child star and you know for whatever reason after she died the stepfather said she just for whatever it is you know thought of killing herself and she attempted it and she succeeded so we do not want people to attempt because you're just never just sure because of that impulsive thought yes you know, i mean the thought comes you begin to think about it and they begin to plan mm. so not so many people and sometimes people that are also psychotic because of all they are going through and you know they i'm sure they will have told one or two people and they can't understand what they're going then one day it was just it was just occurred to them since there's nobody to help me nobody understands you know the voices they're hearing all the abnormal sensations they're having then they try to kill themselves so it is an emergency please anybody that has the thought of killing themselves please get to a doctor tell people people around them because usually People don't just kill themselves, they will have said it. They'll write it on their social media wall. They'll say it to a friend, like a student that will tell the friend, school is still in session and he will tell the friend, I won't come to class again. So the friend should have gone ahead. Why wouldn't you attend classes again? Do you understand? To find out. And the next day, kill themselves in the room. So when people say things, or you see, you know, a neighbor, a friend that is giving out his or her things, giving it out, giving out, what's going on? Where are you going? Did you win visa lottery? Or did you get a visa or something? And they tell you no, but they are giving their things away. Or you see a sudden change in behavior. Somebody that was quiet, nice, now is very happy and is all over the place. So you are wondering, something must have triggered that change in behavior. Please let all of us be attentive and you know pay attention and go after that individual what's going on with you the doctor actually killed himself like that to change in behavior gave his things out and you know very nice workaholic doctor and he stabbed himself so it, these are you know when those thoughts comes don't just and anybody that you know say it or you read it please get them help Thank you very much, Dr. Akiola. You're welcome. Thank you very much. I just don't know how to, to express my gratitude. And finally, can we talk about the diet? I, well, it's, I don't really think there's a scientific, a scientific proof that food we eat or we don't eat affects 
depression. depression. But I think the most important thing is that all of us should learn to eat well, a well balanced diet. Don't take foods that uh, will increase your sugar levels suddenly, then it will come down because all this will affect your mood. I read about caffeine, mm -hmm. coffee. Yeah, the effect of coffee mm -hmm. it helps to aggravate depression because it will, you know it depends on okay so let me let, let finish the thoughts and it's um coffee it increases anxiety level it's maybe it helps to stimulate serotonin i don't know the place of that <laughs> ah, well you know we know coffee you say people when you're nervous you say you want to take coffee yeah but if you abuse coffee it also yes. makes you to be nervous. Makes you to be nervous. Yes. yes. So it could also give palpitation because it can okay. work on the heart and all that. But basically, the thing with diet is you should learn not to eat things that can increase your sugar level abruptly because as it goes up, suddenly it's going to come down suddenly too. So it's, that's what gives the change in mood. One second you are smiling, you are happy because your sugar level is quite high. Then when it goes down, your mood too will go down. So let's eat balanced diet as much as possible. Reduce all our pastries that we eat. Don't let's eat junk, all these um, fast food and all that stuff. I'm guilty of that. Yeah, so reduce sugar level, reduce your, you know, all these carbohydrate things. I just eat balanced diet and you know, sleep well, take plenty of water, water. and just... The place of exercise. Yes, exercise is quite important because you have hormones, endorphins that are pretty happy hormones when you exercise, although we know that it doesn't, it doesn't last so long in the body, but at least once you do your exercise, you feel well. So that's why I would say, okay, do it every day. So you have that happy moment and um, so, and it also helps with your weight, with hypertension and so many other things. So sleep well, eat well, balanced diet don't eat junk okay reduce fat intake and all that stuff and um, take plenty of water okay. be at peace as much as possible learn to talk out learn to ask for help it is a strength of this is a sign of spiritual emotional strength it doesn't make you to be a weakling today I'm tired I'm, I just think I'm overwhelmed so, Musu, where are you going? To? I need to get some things. Can you do some things for me? Can you just do my shopping maybe for this weekend so I can rest. Mm -hmm. Does that mean I'm a weak person? No. I just know that I'm tired. I think I need to recalibrate. Maybe there are some things on my mind. So I need my alone time so you can ask for help. Okay. Thank you very much, Dr. Akira. You're welcome. Thank I can see this thank you a million times. Ah, don't worry, I'll keep collecting it. <laughs> With this, we'll come to the end of this edition yeah. on depression. I'm, just, I'm sure that our viewers will want to get in touch with you. How can we get in touch with you? Please, they should get in touch with you. If they get my number from you. Okay. Yes. And will you be willing to attend to yeah. Hell Vibes clients? Yes, of Hell Vibes. Because, because of Musu, <laughs> I will definitely attend to them. Thank you very much, You're Dr. Akiola. Don't worry, I'll give, give you direct access to Dr. Akiola. She has done so much justice to this mm. topic. Mm. And I want to say on behalf of my lovers, my viewers, mm -hmm. my friends, my family, mm. on social media, yeah. all over the world, mm. we'll say a very big thank you a pleasure. for coming I'm glad. on this show. We love thank you, you for having me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of this topic, depression in many of us. On our next edition, we're going to be talking about hot flashes. That is one of the most common um, signs and symptoms that you see during many of us. Until then, stay healthy, keep smiling, and stay new.